All right, how's it going, folks? Let's see, where were we? Verse 18 of chapter 13 of the Book of Elam. And it shall come to pass... saith the Lord of hosts, Yea, our great and true God, that whoso shall hide up treasures in the earth shall find them again no more because of the great curse of the land. See, he be a righteous man and shall hide it up unto the Lord. 19. For I will, saith the Lord, that they should hide up their treasures unto me, and cursed be they who hide not up their treasures unto me. For none hideth up their treasures unto me, save it be the righteous. And he that hideth not up his treasures unto me, cursed is he, and also the treasure, and none shall redeem it because of the curse of the land. 20. And the day shall come that they shall hide up their treasures, because they have set their hearts upon riches, and because they have set their hearts upon their riches, I will hide up their treasures when they shall flee before their enemies, because they will not hide them up unto me. Cursed be they, and also their treasures. Man, if I was drinking the treasure, I'd be in a, in a fucking alcohol-induced coma right now. Uh, and in that day shall they be smitten, saith the Lord. 21. Behold, ye, the people of this great city, and hearken unto my words. Yea, hearken unto the words which the Lord saith. For behold, he saith that ye are cursed because of your riches. And also, are your riches cursed? Because ye have set your hearts upon them, and have not hearkened unto the words of him who gave them unto you. 22. Ye do not remember the Lord your God in the things which, with which he hath blessed you. But ye do always remember your riches, not to thank the Lord your God for them. Yea, your hearts are not drawn out unto the Lord, but they do swell with great pride unto boasting, and unto great swelling, envying, strifes, malice, persecutions, and murders, and all manner of iniquities. 23. For, the, for this cause, for this cause hath the Lord God caused that a curse should come upon the land, 
and also upon your riches. And this because of your iniquities. 24. Yea, woe unto this people, because of this time which has arrived, that ye do not cast out the that ye do cast out the prophets, and do mock them, and cast stones at them, and do slay them, and do all manner of iniquity to them, unto them, even as they did of old time. 25. And now, when ye talk, ye say, If our days had been in the days of our fathers of old, we would not have slain the prophets, we would not have stoned them and cast them out. 26. Behold, ye are worse than they. For as the Lord liveth, if a prophet come among you, and declareth unto you the word of the Lord, which testifieth of your sins and iniquities, I guess they're different. Ye are angry with him, and cast him out, and seek all manner of ways to destroy him. <laughs> Yea, you will say that he is a false prophet, and that he is a sinner and of the devil, because he testifieth that your deeds are evil. 27. But behold, if a man shall come among you and shall say, do this, and there shall be no iniquity. That do that, and ye shall not suffer. Yea, he will say, Walk after the pride of your own hearts. But aren't you supposed to be listening to your heart to know that this is true? Yea, walk after the pride of your eyes, and do whatsoever your heart desireth. And if a man shall come among you and say this, ye will receive him, and say that he is a prophet. 28. Yea, ye will lift him up, and if and ye will give unto him your substance. Ye will give unto him your gold and your silver. Ye, ye will clothe him with costly apparel. And because he speaketh flattering words unto you, and he saith that all is well, then ye will not find fault with him. 29. O ye wicked, and ye perverse generation, ye hardened and ye stiff-necked people, how long will ye suppose that the Lord will suffer you? Yea, how long will ye suffer yourselves to be led by foolish and blind guides? Yea, how long will ye choose darkness rather than light? 30. Yea, behold, the anger of the Lord is already kindled against you. Behold, he hath cursed the land because of your iniquity. 31. And behold, the time cometh that he curseth your riches. 
that they become slippery, that ye cannot hold them. And in the days of your poverty, ye cannot retain them. 32. And in the days of your poverty, ye shall cry unto the Lord, and in vain shall ye cry. For your desolation is already come upon you, and your destruction, destruction is made sure. And then shall ye weep and howl in that day, saith the Lord of hosts. And then shall ye lament and say, 33, Oh, that I had repented, and not killed the prophets, and stoned them, and cast them out. Yea, ye in that day, yea, in that day ye shall say, Oh, that we had remembered the Lord our God in the day that he gave us our riches, and then they would not have become slippery, that he, that we should lose them. For behold, our riches are gone from us. 34. Behold, we lay a tool here, and on the morrow it is gone. And behold, our swords are taken from us in the day. We have sought them for battle. 35. Yea, we have hid up our treasures that they have slipped away from us. <laughs> He's on a tear about treasure. For behold, the land is cursed. As you keep saying, written on gold. And all things are become slippery. Sometimes that can be fun. Uh, <laughs> and we cannot hold them. 37. Behold, we are surrounded by demons. Yea, we are encircled about by the angels of him who hath sought to destroy our souls. Behold, our iniquities are great. O Lord, canst thou not turn away thine anger from us? And this shall be your language in those days? 38. For behold, your days of probation are past. Ye have procrastinated the day of your salvation until it is everlastingly too late. And your destruction is made sure, yea, for ye have sought all the days of your lives for that which ye could not obtain, and ye have sought for happiness in doing iniquity, which thing is contrary to the nature of that righteousness which is in our great and eternal head. Eternal head is capitalized. 39. O oh, ye people of the land that ye would hear my words. And I pray that the anger of the Lord be turned away from you, and that ye would repent and be saved. And that's it for 13. And we're almost done with Helaman. And then things get fun. Stay tuned. I might do another chapter tomorrow. Peace, the fuck, out, have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. I'm having a great time. I hope you are too.